Hey gamers, Game with Melko here, bringing you another Clash Royale video, and this is going to be another deck spotlight video, guys. That's right, another deck spotlight, and it's going to be featuring a deck that we've used quite recently, but nonetheless, a fantastically fun deck that is doing fantastically well in Legendary Arena. So before we do that, guys, let's open this chest and have a look what we've got. It's only silver chest. We have 76 gold. We got the bomb tower. And we got 10 Teslas. Absolutely rubbish. So guys, let's have a look at the deck that we've been using. That's right, guys. It's the Hog Rider deck combined with the Ice Golem. So guys, the deck itself then consists of the Hog Rider. We have the Fireball. We have the two ladies themselves, the Archers. We have the Ice Golem coming into two elixir. This little buffer at the front is absolutely fantastic combined with that Hog Rider. We have the Inferno Tower, we have the Mega Minion, we have the Ice Spirit, and we have the Zap Spell. All for an average elixir cost of only 3.0. That's why this deck is so good, and it is so, so fast. So let's just have a look at how this deck has been performing. And as you can see guys, 3-2, 2-0, 3-1. 2-1. We do have a few defeats in there, don't get me wrong, but that's always going to be the case. Another 1-0, 2-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1. how good this deck actually is. It can play against most decks and come away winning quite successfully. So let's have a look at a few replays and see how this deck actually plays. The big thing about this deck is getting the Hog Rider to push that Ice Golem up the channel and supporting it with the Mega Minion or the Archers, having that Fireball, Zap and Ice Spirit on standby. You use the, obviously you can use the Inferno Tower on defence to take out the big troops such as the Lava Hound, Giant, etc. So let's watch this replay and see how we did it. So guys, here we are, kicking it off. As always, remember, wish your opponent good luck. So as you can see, we've got a fantastic starting hand here as we have the Ice Golem and the Hog Rider in that starting hand. So let's wait and see what our opponent does. Now he's pushing down this side, so we're going to push the opposite side at the same time. Now we're going to utilise this Fireball here to take out that um, bit of that push. Unfortunately, our Hog Rider did get in front of our troops there. But as you can see, our Hog Rider, combined with the Ice Spirit, is going to go to work on that tower. Obviously, our first tower is down to 509, but we are going to take our opponent's tower just like that, giving us a one crown to nil lead within the first 35 seconds of the battle. Now, as you can see, we are winning the Elixir race here as well. So I'm going to just drop my Archers in the back on defense, and then I'm going to drop the Golem and then the Mega Minion here as well to take out that princess. We're following that up with the Hog Rider. As you can see, our opponent has dropped that Musketeer, but poor placement there from that, allowing us to start dealing some massive damage to this tower. And we're gonna get it down very quickly. There we go, taking a two crown lead. Now as you can see, both our towers are a little bit low on health here, but we are in a fantastic position at this point. We're not going to worry about that Mega Minion going forwards. Then I'm going to use these archers to take out that Princess, and we're still going to have the Elixir advantage. So now it's all about pushing both channels here to obviously try and put the pressure on opponent. As you can see, we obviously have that Ice Golem. So we're going to take out that there. We've got the Hog Rider and the archers and the Mega Minion all going in on this Crown Tower. Our opponent's doing absolutely everything he can on defence here to try and stop it. Now, unfortunately, we did get down to 2380, but we still do have that Elixir advantage here. So when our Elixir builds back up, we're going to continue with our push on this tower. We're not going to worry about what our opponent actually decides to do. We know we're going to lose one of these towers, that's just one of those things. So our opponent then drops down his Lava Hound. Well, that's game over here. Our archers go in. Our Golem goes in, our Mega Minion goes in, the Hog Riser goes in. We're going to utilise the Fireball here to take out the opponent's troops here. There we go. As you can see, we get that tower down to 1221. At this point now, we're just going to be playing a little bit of defence till that tower builds up. Drop down that there. There we go. Our opponent is obviously continuing his push, thinking he's still got a fair chance here. But we all know this is probably going to be a bit of a foregone conclusion now. We're going to let our elixir build back up and then we're just going to continue our push. Down goes our hog rider, down goes the archers, the mega minion. We have the fireball on standby and there we go for a solid 3-1 victory. A fantastic result there. 
And that's the thing about this deck. Once you start putting on that pressure, the opponent cannot counter it because all they're trying to do is defend, defend, defend. They're not able to then go for your own towers. It is so fun to play. And I've been able to turn around a large number of um, attacks as well that look like defeat into actual victories. So let's have a look at this one here and see how we did with this. Now again, obviously this was in Legendary Arena, which all of these battles have actually been, by the way. So obviously that's how good this deck is, winning time and time again in Legendary Arena. So we haven't got the Hog Rider in our starting hand, but we do have the Ice Golem and the Hog Rider next up. So down goes the Ice Golem, Hog Rider. We're then going to drop down... Unfortunately, our opponent then drops down his horde there. Luckily, obviously, how that works, when it blows up, of course, they take out all those troops. We're going to drop down the Mega Minion and the Ice Spirit there to slow down that Pekka. Utilize the Zap spell there, and we're going to drop down the Archers to take out this princess as well. So overall, a good start to the battle after one minute. Our opponent's dropping down the Hog Rider. Unfortunately, I haven't got the greatest counter. Don't know why I didn't go with the um, Inferno Tower there. Absolutely stupid on my part, but that's just one of those things. Absolutely daft. Down goes my Hog Rider to push the Ice Golem there, followed by the Mega Minion. And we're going to utilize the Zap spell here. There we go. Hog Rider and obviously Ice Spirit and Mega Minion are going to get on this tower. There we go. So we're going to take that tower very nearly in the side to put a bit of pressure on that side. I know I'm going to lose this tower here to that Hog Rider. I'm not too worried about that. I fully expected it. But those well-placed Fire Spirits there really did stop my attack. So at this point, our lead has been diminished somewhat. But I'm still confident about being able to pull off a good victory here. That tower is only one fireball away. And we still do have a lot of time. And when this deck gets to overtime, that's when it can excel. So we're just getting ready, we're going to drop the Hog Rider in the back here before we then drop down the Ice Golem in front. We're then going to obviously fireball that Princess. Unfortunately our opponent then comes in with the Mini Pekka, which is a great counter to all those troops. Luckily, as you can see, the Ice Golem explodes, taking out all those troops. We just drop down the Archers to take down that second tower. But as you can see, our opponent got attacked down. And then we're going to drop down that Ice Golem in the front. Fireball that tower and that Princess. Not always the greatest use for Elixir. But it does what it needs to do and get rid of that princess. So we now have the Mega Minion and the Archers going on this tower. A well-placed zap spell there from opponent. And we are going to have to zap here as well. Unfortunately, I did miss those Spear Goblins. So our opponent is dropping his own Hog Rider and Princess. So we're going to have to drop down our Mega Minion to counter that. Then we get our own Hog Rider pushing into that tower with that Ice Golem. As you can see there, boom. One hit, two hit, two crown to one lead. All we've got to do now is defend. Very poorly placed five ball here. As you can see though, all the troops going down, our opponent can't get through to our tower for another two. Good. So we're just gonna watch one more battle here and then that's gonna be it for today. But as you can see guys, this deck is so much fun to play and can play against so many different types of decks and so many different opponents. That's what it's good for. It's good on defense, it's good on offense. And it's actually really fun to play. So we're just going to drop down those archers because I hate wasting elixir to see what our opponent does. Obviously he's dropped his Valkyrie in the back there. Our counter to the Valkyrie is going to be the Mega Minion, which we drop in the back as well. Obviously the archer is going to start dealing some damage to it. Our opponent then drops his own Musketeer down, which I'm not too worried about. I'm going to just allow that to obviously do some damage. I'm going to drop down my Ice Golem, I'm going to drop down my Ice Spirit, and then I'm going to drop down my Hog Rider. I'm then going to fireball all those there. Boom. Good time as well, because our opponent obviously did drop down that mini Pekka. So our Hog Rider, and we're going to absolutely destroy that tower in very quick time. There we go, giving us a one crown to nail the lead. Just like that within the first minute. And as you can see, one attack can just destroy a tire, tower. You get that Mega Minion, Hog Rider, and Ice Golem on that tower, and that tower is going down. That's what I love about it. It's so quick to take to deal damage. So down goes those archers, we're going to drop down the Ice Golem in the front. We've got the Ice Spirit, we're going to drop down the Hog Rider here, and then we've got the Fireball on standby to take out the Ice Wizard, unfortunately, and the Musketeer. Not quite getting the Ice Wizard, unfortunately. So the um, Hog Rider only gets that tower down to 1887. But as you can see, we're not losing the Elixir race here either, so I'm not too concerned. We're going to drop down our archers here, and then we're going to drop down the Mega Minion to try and take out that Hog Rider as quickly as possible. Our opponent does use the Zap spell, but we are still able to do what we can do. Now we drop down the Ice Golem in front, and as soon as that Hog Rider's up, down goes that Hog Rider. 
combined with those archers, unfortunately, those arrows are well placed there. So the Hog Rider is going to deal a bit of damage, but that Musketeer and those towers are going to make short work of it. But we do get a dirty six. And our opponent is coming in with a mini Pekka and the Musketeer. So down goes that Inferno Tower for the first time. We have those archers, we have those archers as well to take out that Hog Rider. Unfortunately, the Musketeer is going to take that out. Poor placement of the Hog Rider there. I was a bit early placing it, I'm afraid. But the Hog Rider is going to get a couple more hits on that tower, taking it down to 661 HP. And our opponent is dropping down his uh, Valkyrie here. So I'm going to have to drop down the Mega Minion and then the Inferno Tower. Fireball on standby to start dealing damage to all of those troops. And there we go. And we've only got the Ice Spoon to contend with. That two hit, that tower goes down. Six seconds left on the clock, and we are in for a solid 2-0 victory. Our opponent obviously does send in that rocket, but just too late. No tower for him. Another 2-0 victory. And that's how good this deck is, guys. Honestly, I absolutely love this deck. This is probably my favourite deck right now for Legendary Arena and also in the Challenges, which, don't get me wrong, I'm going to do that double elixir challenge shortly. So, guys, that's the deck. It's the Hog Rider! The Ice Golem, the Archers, the Mega Minion, and we have that backed up with the Ice Spirit, Fireball, the Zap Spell, and the building on defense, the Inferno Tower itself. So gamers, that's it from me. If you like what you see, comment below, let me know. If you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you gamers next time. Take care.